So in this video, we're going to analyze the MOSFET common source amplifier. But we're not going to neglect RO. So RO is going to be some finite value. So in the last video, we just analyzed the simple common source amplifier. So we've got some input voltage V in. We've got some output voltage V out. And we can draw the circuit small signal model. First, just the transistor itself, GM, VGS. Oh my, that's supposed to be a current, not a voltage. What am I doing? So we've got a voltage dependent current source, GM, VGS. And now we've got an out, uh, a channel resistance, RO. And then we've got RL. And so RL is grounded uh, because this VDD uh, turns into a ground at small signal because it doesn't change. Uh, we've got our output voltage. This is our drain terminal. And then we've got our input voltage. Uh, so we've got our VN, which is applied to our gate terminal. And the source is grounded. So are we going to have to redo our entire analysis? Because so in the last video, we saw that the voltage gain is just minus GM RL. The output resistance was just equal to RL and the input resistance was equal to infinity. Well, for this circuit, uh, if we look at it really hard, what are both RL and RO connected to? Well, they're both connected between the output voltage or between the output node and ground. So if we redraw this a little bit, if we redraw this a little bit, we'll get that both RO, GM, VGS, and RL are all connected to ground. And so we can just lump these two resistances together as a single parallel resistor. So rather than RO and RL separately, we can just draw this as a single resistor with value RL in parallel with RO. And so everywhere we had an RL in our old equation, we just replace it with an RL in parallel with RO. RL in parallel with RO. And we're done. So that's one of the great things about this common source amplifier and about adding complexity slowly, is that often you'll see that your new result with additional complexity, so in this case with RO, is just your old result multiplied by something, or your old result, some function of your old result that's pretty easy to analyze. And so our new voltage gain is minus GM RL in parallel with RO. Our new output resistance is just RL in parallel with RO, and our input resistance isn't affected, it's still infinite. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.